What is poppin' my Poke Pals? This is Rare Boy bringing you episode 3 of the Pokemon Red Randomized Nuzlocke Challenge. In the last episode, we beat Brock and we got our first gym badge. We also had our first ever death. Um, if you did not see the last episode, I highly suggest you check it out and find out what went on. So, let's do a quick recap on the team. Start off with our starter, Ding Dong, level 16. He still only knows Karate Chop. Hopefully he learns a new move this episode. And we got my boy Andy, who's been carrying the team lately. He's got Acid, Rap, Supersonic, and we taught him Fury Attack via TM we got from Brock in the last episode. Now, the main objective of this episode, I think, is we're going to take on Mount Moon. And maybe we'll take on Misty, depending on how quickly we get through Mount Moon. I'm going to stock up on a couple potions because last episode we did not fare too well. Okay, uh, let's get rid of the Leaf Stone. I might regret that decision later, but who knows. I, I don't think the Mart, no, the Marts are not randomized, so I could always just buy another Leaf Stone if, if need be. Um, I'm also finally got my remote to work. Excellent. So now we won't have to worry about hearing keyboard clicks anymore. And I ordered a new pop filter for my mic, so hopefully the audio quality will be better in the next episode. But uh, for now, let's just work with what we got here. Alright, first up, this guy has a Clefairy, not bad. We could take that out, no problem. In case you're wondering what remote I'm using, I am using the officially licensed Nintendo... Uh, NES controller, the, the Joy-Con controller, they are compatible with uh, Windows 8 and I believe Windows 7 PCs, but I definitely know Windows 8, which is what my my laptop is. But like, I have like the original like Windows 8 uh, laptop. I'm using the uh, Lenovo, Lenovo Yoga 2, I believe, is what the laptop I'm using. But uh, the, uh, enough about the laptop. I don't think a lot of us are, are too curious about what's going on. I just want to let you guys know that the remote is working. I don't know if you can hear the A button because my A button is like really, it's like really loud. <laughs> so instead of hearing keyboard clicks, now we're going to hear A button presses. You just can't win sometimes in this industry, can you? All right. Ding Dong took care of him pretty quickly. Um, I did not check to see if there are repels in the Mart because we're, we're definitely going to want some repels going through Mount Moon because I do not know the Mount Moon manipulation to uh, not encounter any wild Pokemon. Okay. Oh, nice, Ding Dong. I thought that... Oh, wow, it was a speed tie. I thought that Confusion would have done a lot more, but thankfully it didn't. Okay, level 18. Are we going to learn a new move? Nope. Still nothing. Pidgey, Pidgeot. Mm. All right, I'm gonna switch to Andy. I don't want to get hit with a wing attack. That I definitely don't want. Andy's been carrying this team very well. Team, there's only two of them left, but uh, Andy's been doing a fantastic job. I'm so proud of him. Um, I will, I will be encountering. Let's see, one, two. There's a minimum of three Pokemon we can get this episode. Between the the Magikarp I could buy, the route that's this route, so after I clear out the trainers, there's going to be a patch of grass, and then Mount Moon itself, I can get another Pokemon. So there's a minimum of three Pokemon we can get right now. And I also have the speed up button uh, programmed on my remote, which is great. Because the NES controllers, the, the Joy-Con ones, they have the, the L and R buttons up at the top. So I programmed the R button to be the speed up button. So I can move while speeding up. Because in the original games, you do not need the L and R buttons to be active. So that's a bit of a quality of life improvement I've made for myself and for my viewers. So we don't have to sit here and watch me walk slowly back to the Pokemon Center every time I have to heal. Because anybody who's played Gen 1 or 2, you know how slow the walking animations are. But Ding Dong is amazing with the crits. I'm pretty sure like 9 out of 10, he, he, he crits with uh, Karate Chop, which is fantastic. 
Alright, the only problem is rock types, such as like Omanite, Omastar, uh, Geodude, and, and the rest of them. Because all of our moves are resisted by rock type. Thankfully, there's no steel types in this generation. But uh, if there were, we'd definitely be in more of a uh, unfavorable situation. But Andy disposes of oh, Almanites and Almastars pretty easily, as I would assume he'd also uh, get rid of Kabuto and Kabutops fairly easily as well. There's another level up, very nice. Who do we got now? Sand Slash. I'm going to keep Andy in for Sand Slash. Ground types are not great either, but with Rap, it's, it's not, not that big of a deal. Um, in today's episode, you know, just for a, a little... Uh, conversation topic point. I thought I'd tell you guys about how my weekend went. Well, actually, you should, last weekend, not the weekend that just passed. But uh, my girlfriend decided uh, that she wanted to go skiing with her cousins. And I've never been skiing before, so I figured, sure, why not? Let's go skiing. It's something I've always wanted to try. It's always something I wanted to do. Let me tell you something. I, I have a pretty good physique. Uh, I've been working out since I was like 16. Um, I'm currently 24. I'll be 25 next month. And I don't care how good of a shape you're in. Skiing is hard. Like, I put the skis on and I, I, I kid you not, I could not stand on the skis for more than like 10 seconds before I was on my on my rear end. It was It was not only embarrassing, but it was also very disappointing. It was a big hit to my morale, but uh, am I disappointed about that weekend? Absolutely not. I still had a fun time, you know. I still had fun, you know, just being around my girlfriend, her cousins, her family. It, it wasn't like it was a, a waste of time or anything like that. I had fun, even though I didn't know how to ski. Um, a few years before that, she took me uh, ice skating. I didn't fall ice skating, surprisingly, but... Uh, that's also very, very challenging. Uh, my girlfriend, she's been uh, doing uh, winter sports like that for since she was young. So she knows like how to how to hold herself together on skis or on the ice or, or what what have you. But uh, I don't know. I, I was just so distraught by the whole situation about not being able to, to stand on the skis. I was like, oh, you know, I'm in pretty good shape. And I and we went uh, ice skating a few years ago. I didn't fall. I should be fine on skis, but no. No. That uh, was not a fun time. <laughs> well, I mean, it was a fun time. It wasn't fun for my rear end, is what I should say. Because I kid you not, I, w I was not standing up on those skis. But uh, everybody was like, oh, we're going to go hit this big mountain. <laughs> and... This was after I fell down on the small mountain. I was like, oh, you know, maybe maybe I'll do better on the big mountain. Maybe I'll be able to redeem myself or whatnot. But uh, I was uh, horribly wrong. Um, <laughs> I wanted to go one way and the skis wanted to go another way. So uh, I wound up actually going down a much more difficult path than my girlfriend and her cousins did. Because they all went right and I had no control over my skis. So I wound up going far left and I went so far down this hill it wasn't even like a, a beginner's hill it was like one of those like expert hills and oh my lord and then what happened was the hill that was like the expert hill when you got to the bottom it wasn't like you were back at the resort there was another lift at the bottom so when you got to the bottom I thought oh the lift will take me back up to the top of the hill and then I just take the lift that I got to the top of the old one and bring it back down to the resort. But no, it brought me up to a completely different hill. And I was like, oh Lord. So I was like, uh, how do I get down from here? And the guy goes, you got to ski down. And I was like, that's not happening. Uh, long story short, uh, they, they had a call patrol and, and come and get me. Cause I was not skiing down that mountain. And our encounter is a Meowth. Did we catch it in one go? Hey, we yellow balled it and we got it. Very nice. So that was my weekend. Well, two weekends ago. So in the comment section, I want to know, uh, have you guys ever skied? Uh, are you guys uh, willing to go skiing if you haven't? Or uh, just tell me about your weekend. All right, let me go to my followers. Uh, we are going to name this Skellington. 
he's been a long time follower. I will name this after you. I don't think it's gonna fit. I'm gonna just call you mm, Skelly for short. All right, so we got a new addition on the team. Let's check out Skelly. See his move set. See what he's see what he's packing here. Scratch and growl. Nice. All right, not nothing too exciting, but you know what? It's all good. It's always good to have a new member on the team. Always exciting. And we're about to get another member when we get to the Pokemon Center up here because there is a man who will offer us a Magikarp for 500 Poke Dollars. So let's see what this Magikarp is. Let's see. Oh, that's lit. We got a Hypno! Ooh! All right, a Psychic type. Uh, let's see. We're going to name this Mutant. After Mutant burglar, a Burglar. So, Mutant. Very nice. Let's check out our new Hypno. He knows Pound. Hypnosis and Confusion. Yes, let's go. We finally have something against Rock types. And Ghost types for that fact. Oh, thank the Lord. And our final encounter is going to be... Oh, I'm going to send out Mutant because he knows Hypnosis. Let's see what we got. It is... Aerodactyl! Level 9. Oh, this is going to be so sweet if we can catch this. I will absolutely take... Uh, okay, it's got Wing Attack. I knew it would, but I think Mutant can take that. Yeah, he takes that fairly nicely. Alright, we could take one... Okay, Agility, good. Good, we got the Hypnosis off. Uh, I think... I think we can hit him with one confusion. Oh, we can hit him with a lot more, but I'm not going to risk it. Let's just go for a Pokeball. Okay, he broke out. He woke up. Let's put him back to sleep. He's going to keep you. Okay, there's a Hypnosis. Come on, I want this Aerodactyl. Uh, one more would be fine. That'll put him in red, and then I can just chuck a ball. Or or not. We got a low roll that time. Come on, Aerodactyl. Come join the team. We got him. Nice. And I am going to name this Elijah. So let's welcome Elijah to the team. Elijah. Yes. And he only knows Wing Attack and Agility. I know Aerodactyl's moveset pretty well because of how many randomizers I've watched and how many people catch Aerodactyl at such a low level. Actually, I'm pretty sure Aerodactyl only knows Agility and Wing Attack when you evolve them from the Old Amber at level 30. So we will not be uh, expecting any new moves anytime soon. All right, I think I'm going to leave with Ding Dong. And we're definitely going to be doing some training once we get out of the out of Mount Moon. But for now, we are just going to plow our way through this. We got some potions, so we're definitely stocked up. We're ready. And I... Oh, no, I didn't want to walk into her. Darn it. I was going to say, I'm surprised we didn't get any encounters that whole time, too. All right, let's see what she has. She has a gold duck. Okay, nothing too intimidating. I think Don can take it up. Really? Really? <sighs> Alright. Let's send out Andy. That's the problem with only having one attack, is if you get disabled like that, or if I lose power points, uh, I'm, I'm pretty much in a, in a non-favorable situation. Okay, stop with the disabling. Okay. Nope, he missed again. Good. Like I said, Andy can pretty much handle himself if they don't resist uh, poison. And a lot of things, uh, a lot of things in this game uh, aren't like, resistant to poison, so that's good. I think it's just rock. Is ground resistant? No, ground isn't resistant to poison. I was, I was forget if it is or not, but I don't think rock, uh, ground is. I know rock is, and just other poison types. That's it. And the ghost types, of course, because they're all half poison. Okay, 
Let's make our way through here. All right, there's usually a moonstone up here, but I'm gonna see what it's um, randomized. Oh, we could have got a Flareon? That's my favorite evolution. Come on, bruh. I love Flareon. Oh, a rare candy. Let's go. All right. I'll take a rare candy. There's normally a rare candy in this in Mount Moon anyway, but uh, it was nice that it was over there instead of where it normally is because it's kind of like out of our way. And I kind of just want to get through Mount Moon. I'm not looking to spend uh, a whole episode in here. I don't think you guys would be willing to spend a whole episode in here either. Alright, let's see what else. A Pidgeot. Mm. I would, I would say I'd take it out for the experience, but I don't know if it has Wing Attack or not at that level. I don't know Pidgeot's moveset that well. I'm also not speeding up like in areas that we haven't been before. I'm trying to keep it to as minimum as speeding up as possible, unless, like I said, like I have to run back to the Pokemon Center. A Persian? Oh. Okay, we could have got the Evolve form of our, of our Meowth. He's fast. I figured he would be. Persian's one of the fastest Pokemon in Gen 1. That's why he his slashes are like a 99.6% chance of critting or something ridiculous like that. Alright, so we got two guys left in Mount Moon, and then we're out of here. And then, you know what? Since we got past Mount Moon so easily, I think we're going to take on Misty. And then we're going to call it an episode there. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. I've been loving making it. Uh oh, please don't poison. Okay, good. I don't have any antidotes. Um, if you guys haven't seen, I just posted uh, two new Smash montages on my channel. One for Pyro, one for Mithra. And excellent. We finally learned low kick. We got a, we got a stab move now. Very nice. Let's try it out on this Ninetales. So yeah, I posted two new montages. One for Pyro, one for Mithra. Because I know that they, they just came out on... Thursday they came out, and today's Tuesday I'm recording this. I don't know if it's going up on Tuesday. But, yes, I did uh, do one for Pyro, one for Mithra. I wanted to do it that way because I figured, well, everybody's doing it one way, so I wanted to stand out a little bit. You gotta be a little creative on YouTube, you know what I mean? Okay, Viable uses Acid, that's fine. Ding Dong can take that. And we're gonna finish off with a Karacha. Nice. But yeah, I am I am loving recording the series. I hope you guys are loving watching it and listening to my commentary. It's a little difficult to commentate for for 15 or 16 or however long my episodes are. Minutes, you know. I try my best. I try to entertain you guys. I try to talk about uh, things that are going on in my life. Like the skiing situation I was in. I try to get you guys involved by saying, hey, have you guys ever skied or... Anything. Oh, a Chansey. Oh, Chanseys are like the the best uh, when it comes to experience. I think we're going to let Skellington take care of Chansey, or Skelly as I call him. Double slap, that's fine. Chansey's, oh, she's got a lot of defense. Ooh, all right, I was not expecting her to take so little. I'm going to switch back into Ding Dong. I know I keep training Ding Dong and leveling him up. It was just that. He only knew Karate Chop. And now um, he's getting closer to evolving, which is fantastic. It would be great to have a Machoke. And the way I programmed this um, this ROM hack is that he should be a Machamp by level 36. Don't quote me on that, though. Nice. Skelly grew two levels. Nice. And a Machamp. Look at that. We're going to fight our older brother here. All right, Elijah could definitely take out a Machamp. No problem. With Wing Attack, let's go. Okay, we resist that because it's normal in this generation. Still did quite a lot, but not enough. Okay, he's going to Leer. If he gets another crit in this game, uh, crits bypass defense drops, which is great. 
because if he would have critted us and then you know lowered our our defense he would have did a lot more in, in the the newer generations but not in gen 1 also why did this thing just go to my screensaver helix fossil nah we're the dome family on this channel let me go straight for the dome all right so i've never had a recording session this long that's probably why i went to my my screensaver but i find it funny that it goes to the screensaver even if i'm playing on the emulator probably because i haven't touched the keyboard or the mouse but that is a mental note i'll have to keep for now or i could just turn off the screensaver so i will do that after this recording don't want to do that now my apologies for that a little unprofessional but that's okay you know we're a small channel we do things a little unprofessionally around here as long as you guys are comfy, I'm comfy. Alright, before we go into the grass and get our encounter, I'm going to go heal and see what we can get. Alright, I think we're going to send out my Hypno again, because that Hypnosis plan worked like a charm last time. So let's put our hypno. And our encounter is a victory bell. Okay. Not bad. I'll take a victory bell. Nice grass type. Oh, we try to put me to sleep. No, 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 my friend. I put you to sleep. All right, this confusion hopefully won't kill it. Nice. Hit it with another one. And that should put us in perfect range to catch it. Nice. All right, let's throw a Pokeball. I'm gonna get my followers list out. So as soon as I catch this thing, I can have a name ready. And he's gonna put me to sleep. Ugh. All right, let's start speeding up. <gasps> oh, let's not speed up. Hold up. Uh, Let's go to Andy. Let's try a Pokeball again. Nope, he's being very resilient right now. Come on. Come on. Nope. Don't be like this, Victory Bell. We got him. Nice. All right, let's pull out the followers list. And we are going to need this Aiden139. So Aiden139, thank you for um, following me on Twitter. I hope you're enjoying the series. I cannot do numbers in this generation, so we're just going to leave it at Aiden. And again, um, in the comment section, if you guys wanted to say uh, how you guys found my channel, did you find me on Twitter first, or did you find me on YouTube through my, my Smash montages, let me know. It's always interesting to see how you guys found my channel. And with that, we are going to go straight to Misty. And we're going to see how we do. Oh, before we do, let's see. Let's see Aiden. We got Sleep Powder, Sun Spore, Acid, and Rage of Leaf. Not a bad move set. I like that. All right. You're going to skip a trainer here. Now, this person normally has, I think, a level 12 Goldeen. So hopefully this doesn't become something crazy like a Zapdos right now. Let's see what you got. A Kangaskhan. Okay. Love 19? Oh shoot, I got a mutant in the front. Damn. Uh, I want to switch into Ding Dong, but he's going to take a hit. We're going to go into Andy. He could take a hit. Please don't have anything crazy. Rage. Oh, perfect. He's stuck in that now. He's stuck in that. Rage is like a death sentence in this game. If you get caught in a rage, it, it's pretty much game over. Uh, let's go with Rap. Oh, that does nothing. All right, we're in a bit of a pickle here because every time I rap, his his attack rises. Oh, okay. 
Come on, Andy, you can pull through. Oh no, this is this is not a good scenario we're in right now. Please hit yourself. Oh, thank God. All right, that was really scary. Newton got two levels all for that, which is great. But that was way too close for comfort. Way too close. That rage got pretty nasty pretty quickly. Normally, rage is just a move that doesn't do much. But because Kangaskhan's so bulky and can take hits, every time I hit the Kangaskhan, its attack rose. And then, next thing I knew, I was dealing with a plus six Kangaskhan using a stab rage. <laughs> I don't think anybody would have taken that. Alright, hopefully Misty doesn't have anything crazy like that. Hopefully she has something like uh, a Metapod or something. But uh, this game isn't going to be, you know, all Metapods and, and Caterpies for, for gym trainers. Because I programmed this game to have fully evolved Pokemon once we reach, I think, the 4th or 5th gym. So, we won't be battling Elite Four with, like, uh, Magic Harps or anything like that. It's going to be all... All high-level mons. Fully evolved. And look at this level 18 Clefairy. That's funny because Whitney has a level 18 Clefairy. We're fighting a uh, fake Whitney over here. Alright, she goes for X defend. That's fine. That was a waste of a move. We crit. And no level. Nidorino. Hmm. Andy could take out a Nidorino. No problem. I don't think Nidorino has anything to... To really hurt Andy, aside from maybe Horn Attack. But we got Fury Attack. Okay, Fury Attack. Is doing very underwhelming damage. That was four. Oh, and it's an X Defend. Alright, uh... Let's just keep going for Fury Attack, I guess. Okay, she's gonna Leer. I'm gonna Acid. I'm going to try and go for a defense drop with Acid. Try and get rid of that X defend. I don't remember... Okay, we did get the, the defense drop. Good. I don't remember if if Misty uses potions in Red and Blue version. I know she does in Fire Red and Leaf Green, but I don't remember if she does in Red and Blue. Hopefully she does not, because I can seriously not deal with a super potion right now. Especially since I'm being leered to death over here. Actually, all she's doing is leering. Okay, she doesn't have potions. Great. That that was fairly simple enough. All right. That was anticlimactic, but uh, that's it. All right. So what is our TM? Don't don't let it be leer, please. Uh, we got TM eleven, which is oh, she doesn't say. Okay. What is it? Aurora beam. Oh, we are so teaching that to Andy. We are so teaching that to Andy. And we're going to get rid of rap for that. All right. Another successful gym. I think what we should do now is we're definitely going to... Uh, we're definitely going to go train because our team is a little underleveled. But uh, I'm not going to do a whole training montage. I don't think you guys want to see me... Uh, fighting Pokemon at like a thousand times speed. So I'm going to cut it here. And if anybody perishes, hopefully they won't during training. Uh, I'll be sure to record it and get it for you guys. So you guys know like I'm not cheating during the the montages that I'm not recording. But uh, if anybody perishes while, while I'm recording, I'll, I'll put it in. If nobody perishes, then uh, we'll just end the episode off. I'll say my farewells. So I'm going to cut it right here, and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we're back from training. Uh, nobody died, thank God, as you could tell, because I didn't do a cut to somebody dying. Um, I got everybody to at least level 20, with the exception of Ding Dong, who was already at 22 before we started training. And then I did some switch training on some of the, the weaker guys, so he gained another level. Um, but let's do a recap. We got Ding Dong, number chop, level 23, low kick and karate chop. We got Andy the Tentacruel, level 20, with Acid, Supersonic, Aurora Beam, and Fury Attack. He's a powerhouse. We got Skelly the Meowth, who now knows Bite, Growl, Scratch, and Payday. Payday has been coming in handy during training.
prank, getting a couple bucks, uh, leveling him up. We have Mutant, the Hypno, who knows Pound, Disable, Hypnosis, and Confusion. We have Elijah, the Aerodactyl, who didn't learn anything new. We still know only knows uh, Agility and Wing Attack. And last but not least, we have Aiden, level 20, the Victory Bell, who knows Acid, Wrap, Razor Leaf, and Sleep Powder. And we're going to end it off here, ladies and gentlemen, before this video gets any longer. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace! Red, white, and blue, yeah, I love this place.